Koon Sing Road, with its rows of colorful shop houses, is a huge hit with locals and tourists alike. These Peranakan houses are not only aesthetically pleasing, but are also rich in symbolism. The animal carvings on the exterior represent the 12 Chinese zodiac animals, while the floral tiles symbolize fertility and prosperity. Originating from England, authentic tiles can be identified by fine crack lines at the back. Today, each piece can easily cost more than $50. Some even steal these precious tiles from old tombstones in Malaysia. The line ornaments outside houses act as stone guardians against evil spirits. Looking at the exterior, one might think these houses are tiny. But there's more than meets the eye. For though narrow, these houses are long and deep. Taxes at that time were paid according to the width of the house rather than the total area. This sort of smart design is also seen in their air vents, minimal windows, and shorter heights of their day doors, the Pintu Paga, which all allow for air ventilation while retaining the privacy of the house. Um, when rainwater comes in, rain actually is um, a blessing, right? So when it flows into the house, they do, do the drainage such that you know, it doesn't drain out of the house. So then the wealth is actually retained in the house and it's not being um, lost. My name is Mark Davidson. I'm British and I have been living in this house since October last year. We were looking for it to be traditional style, um, modernised and within budget. Actually when I first moved here it was right in the middle of the G-chat sleaze so there was quite a cohesive neighbourhood um, sort of committee and there was people you know we joined in various meetings and petitioning the MP and all sorts of things. So I know Mrs Tan that you spoke to along the road I think she's sort of a mainstay of the neighbourhood. She's being you know like the perfect neighbour. You see the big friendly penny plant that's just next door it actually drops a lot of flowers and leaves. What she does is that she sweeps it, you know, in the mornings, and she goes sweep, you know, this way down and that way up. So she does it, you know, just on her own, without um, anyone requesting, without asking for anything in return. But you know, she does the community a lot of good. My mom was very close with uh, Mrs. Tan, uh, number 17. Uh, they both treat each other like sisters. So uh, whenever there's a possible time, they will cook and then they share among their, their, their foods during uh, week, weekends especially. Lao Oh, 
Mrs. Ping next door brings me chicken rice every now and again, which is very nice. Ah, chú chi phan. Cơ bị tô kê, tô kê. À, yếu số ổ quê ra, yếu chú chi phan ra, chú cá ri ra, à, yếu yếu kê. Ai sư chào mi phân ra. 刚刚搬走的这个荷兰人又不一样，这两夫妇又特别好，懂我们华人的风俗。他自己自动来过年，拿两粒干来跟我们拜年，啊，送一盆奥吉来，这个就是人情的交往。一九五十年五十多年的时候了，有牛车，那么后面也是吗？后面全部是椰树、椰椰林呢。Right next to Kun Sing Road is another mainstay of Ju Chiet, Tin Yang Restaurant. Established since 1968, it has witnessed the changes in the neighborhood. Uh, I don't think we had that many uh, eateries along this road. Yeah, and maybe some newer business also like like gyms or pilates or uh, it, they were they were not here previously. This店总共有二十多间 have rented one that was old style with minimal ACs and poor plumbing and less space. So we, we would have always picked one that had been redesigned or remodeled up to a more modern standard. We can keep the outside appearance for inside we have to change to suit our lifestyle. See? Because uh, as a voice is moving, we also have to follow the world moving. We cannot stop or wait for the world to change to suit us. Unfortunately, living in an old house has its fair share of problems. Both this house and next door has a, a sort of plunge pool on the, on the top level at the back. So um, I was quite concerned about leakage because we get a lot of damp problems. You know, the, it's very prescriptive about if you want to make a change to something outside, then it's, it's very difficult. Whereas there doesn't seem to be a duty of care. So, for example, the house next door, in all the time I've lived here, it's been vacant. There's quite a lot of maintenance issues with it. You can see the front wall is subsiding, the drain pipe was broken. As long as they're not changing the facade, we, don't, we can't ask them to take any care of it. So, that's a little bit of a frustration. Personally, I find that you know something that the UK does is actually just amazing. How they have you know all this trust um, that actually takes over old buildings that you know people cannot afford to pay um, the inheritance tax, and then they run the whole building. Um, but what we're doing here, uh, you know, in, in Singapore, it tends to be you know just a facade. Yeah, either that, or you know they're relocating things, or you know they are just tearing things down. Um, in the name of progress uh, and forgetting, you know, our past. You know, 
it might be better if the URA had more guidelines about actually preserving the whole of the property in a way that is going to last for a considerable length of time rather than just keep the front looking the same as it does and we don't really mind if the rest of the place falls down. I mean, it's a bit not, not a very balanced approach. Oh, <laughs> Tuitotsuda 这个是古董来的I personally think that heritage is not about the architecture, it's about the lifestyles that is actually being passed on, you know, from one generation to another. It's like uh, certain languages that you don't speak, but you know your ancestors may still be speaking. I mean, they would speak it, but you know somehow it's just not passed on to you. When you stand inside the house, uh, for example, in the living room or in the kitchen, if you are able to imagine, you know, what are some of the conversations that took place, what are some of the things that done, really bring history alive. So definitely this area is, is uh, unique, uh, it may not be that big an area, the buildings may not be so grand, magnificent, uh, majestic, but definitely unique in, in its way and we should try our best to preserve as much as we can.